Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Another instant reaction video from the Coffee and KOs crew. And uh, this time we have Colby Covington versus Leon Edwards. It's not official yet, um, but it looks like it's going to be booked for the end of May, I believe. Um, and this is a fight that I think most people were kind of thought was going to happen after the whole Bala Muhammad thing happened. Um, and then we obviously had Masvidal's going up against Usman. So this was really the only matchup to really make other than maybe Leon and Wonder Boy. Doesn't seem like the UFC is really pushing Wonder Boy. So Gilbert, we get maybe maybe Gilbert. I don't know how quick he'd want to come back. So but this this fight makes the most sense for I think that the next this is title contender. You know, you win this fight, you get the shot at the belt. Um, I love this fight. I think we all knew that watching the Leon fight that he was light years ahead of Bilal Muhammad. I know that it, it ended poorly, um, but Bilal, or, um, Leon looked really, really good, I thought, in the time that fight did last. And uh, so I think that this fight is perfect. I love Colby Covington, too. Those, those, those of you that listen know that I'm a guy that I don't like Colby outside of the octagon, but in the octagon, love his fight style. I love what he brings to the table. The only guy that's really tested uh, Usman as well. So it's a huge test for Leon. Yeah, you don't like his shtick, as I guess yeah. you could call it. This, yes. yeah, Leon, he convinced me that because I was definitely doubting Leon against Bilal. I didn't know if Bilal would win, but I was definitely doubting Leon with two and a half, two years. It was really one year. But this is, I think, the fight of the year candidate. Early prediction for me, this is going to be the fight of the year. It might be more competitive than Colby and Usman and that was very competitive you get you win this fight for Colby you get the title shot rematch everyone wants to see that if you're Leon Edwards I mean you get the rematch against Kamar Usman eight years later so that's kind of interesting that it's been so long Leon looks big I think he's going to look a little bit bigger than Colby in this fight and then Colby can do his uh, pace his stamina is top notch. It's one of the best in the division. And he's got good striking, good knees. And he's obviously got the wrestling background. You can see it on his, what, what's that USA tattoo that all the wrestlers get. That's how you know uh, this guy is, he can wrestle. I think that's the stamp of approval is you have to have that tattoo. And then you are able to wrestle in the UFC octagon. I don't know. You said, you know, maybe Colby, you're leaning towards it. You've thought about it. Um, Steve said Leon, you know, right off the bat, kind of instantly, kind of like we're doing right now. And if I had to lean towards someone right when it's announced, it's probably going to be Colby, but I'm waiting to see, I don't know, Leon looks so big and he looks fantastic at 170 that there's a lot of things that go into this fight, but I think it's going to be a five round slugfest. Colby's been in those. Leon, I think, is craving those or just about to have them. Because he hasn't been in the octagon, and he's going. Colby's bringing him the fight. I think that's what's going to happen. He's bringing it to him. This is the fight that we've wanted Leon to to have. Maybe not necessarily mm -hmm. this opponent, but like this is the level of competition we've been wanting Leon to to fight. I mean, he's got the win over RDA, and then other than that, it really hasn't been anyone else. So like, this is the big opponent. This is the opponent. If he wins this fight, he is ready for the title shot. And I think honestly, they could have booked Leon Usman before and I would have been okay with it um but like this is the fight that 100% solidifies him being a title contender and um you know this is the thing like I do think Leon is massive for that division so I do think he's going to have a size advantage over Colby that could play a huge factor in Colby's wrestling um but look at Usman Usman is a huge dude and he went toe to toe with him could have potentially been winning that fight uh you know, based on scorecards prior to losing uh, in in what what was it fourth or fifth round? Um, he got his jaw was the fifth or the fourth, and then he got finished in the fifth. Yeah, yeah. So um, I, it's a tough one. It's I, I like Colby, so I feel like I, bias me is kind of leaning towards Colby, but I can't I can't sit here and confidently say I think that Colby's going to win the fight. I'm just excited about the matchup mm -hmm. for Leon. Because I, I've just, this is, like I said, everyone has been backing Leon for so long. And then you don't fight for 600 days. People forget. And then then you fight Bala Muhammad. And then you have that whole controversy happen. So it's like he hasn't been able to escape controversy. He's been 
He hasn't really fought a real fight in over 600 days. He looked again. I can I can put a little bit of stock in the Bilal fight, but to go from Bilal Muhammad to um, to Colby Covington is is a huge jump. Um, you know, I just I look at Colby versus um, Usman, and I'm like, okay, well, Colby just looked really good in that fight. Like he looked he's looked great since that fight. Um, he's just uber confident, which which I like. Same from same from Leon. Leon does not waver in confidence whatsoever. So um, I can't confidently pick right now. I feel like, like you mm-hmm. said, I feel like you definitely have to wait a little bit, see where we're at. It's not too far away. I mean, we're we're about two months out. So I, I'm I'm really excited for the matchup. I think it's a perfect matchup. Um, and like I said, either guy that 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 wins this fight is getting the title shot um, against the winner of Usman Maz at all. So. You know, I'm all I'm all in on the fight. I underestimated Leon Edwards' kicks, especially his his head kick that he hit Bilal with, and he instantly like cut him. That was pretty like how did he cut him from just one kick? That could be Toe a big nail. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Oh yeah, he's just poking everything. Uh I hopefully this fight stays. I'm not even gonna put that bad juju on it, but I think the head kicks could be could be a factor, and then Colby's Wrestling is going to be a factor because we talked about on the recap show, Bilal Muhammad was actually turning Leon against the cage when they were exchanging in that. So that was a little discouraging because you could see Colby holding him against the fence, getting some dirty boxing. But when they're out in space, I think that is advantage Leon because of what I saw from those head kicks. So, but, but yeah, Colby our, brings it to you. Our, our friend, our friend uh, Norton said all the UK fighters have shit wrestling they just don't wrestle well um so that's gonna play into colby's colby's uh favor and the thing is colby's pace now i think leon can push a good pace i mean he's always comes in phenomenal shape um he has no issue making the weight so but colby's pace is just wearing on people i mean to to be in someone's face the entire time constantly pushing for takedowns holding them down when they're down that is really really hard to to you know, get past. So, you know, that's kind of what makes me want to lean towards Colby. But then, like you said, you look at what Leon did in the short amount of time against Bilal and how good his striking has been and the kicks, you know, then you start leaning towards towards Leon. It's, it's one of those fights where you can make a case for either one. And I feel like with all the fight announcements today, it is really hard to pick a clear-cut winner in any of them because they are all just, Super great. First off, hats off to the UFC. The matchups that they are making are great, great matchups. And I think that's as a fan and as content creators, I think that is what we look forward to the most. Like it's just just it almost makes it more exciting when you don't know what's going to happen. It's not as exciting when you, you know, oh, Amanda Nunes is fighting so and so uh, she's going to kill her. And that that's it. I mean, that's it's it's not as exciting to talk about those. It's more exciting to talk about fights that are going to be razor thin and no one can really make a clear cut prediction and i think for the not casual mma fan but the actual mma fans this gets me more excited than usman masvidal too a thousand percent i could see the casual fan getting more excited for masvidal usman um grant i mean i'm not going to be mad at that i'm excited for that but this gets me not a lot more excited but it definitely gets me more excited the Usman Masvidal for sure. The only reason Usman Masvidal is happening now is because of the casual fan. If it wasn't, if it wasn't the UFC catering to the casual fan, I think it'd be Usman Covington again, mm-hmm. which is mind-boggling to me because that fight was such a good. It was a way better fight than Masvidal Usman the first time. But you know, everyone uses the excuse, "Oh, well, Masvidal took it on short notice," blah blah blah, which he did. Crazy, yeah. But he's still never going to match up well with. I mean, don't be wrong. He'd always one punch, could always end it. You know that that's any UFC fight. But you know, I think the majority of people. I think I think the the line on that fight is going to be severely one sided mm-hmm. because I don't see Masvidal posing any sort of threat to to Kamaru Usman. Like minus four hundred range. This, like I yeah. said, I think it's fight. Of, it could be fight of the year. Or my early pre-pre prediction for fight of the years: Colby versus Leon Edwards. 
I agree, man. I think it's going to be a great fight, and I'm I'm super stoked for it. I, at the UFC, like I said, hats off. You guys are putting on great fights for the fans, and uh, you know I can't wait. Before you know it, these fights will be here, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be a good year. 2021 has already started off with a bang. It's it's in, it's only going to get better. So many great matchups that we're finally finally starting to get to see. So are you are you going to take your hat off for the UFC? Or no, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to see that. <laughs> Hats off to the UFC. I, I don't I don't want to lose any subscribers uh <laughs> due to due to uh my hairline. So we're gonna keep the hat on. All right. Thanks for thanks for putting me on the spot there. I appreciate yeah. that. Sorry. No. <laughs> oh. Totally fine. Uh yes, well, how about this? Golf clap for the UFC. There we go. There we go. That's better. Um, but anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this, uh, instant reaction from the coffees and KOs crew go subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, coffee and KOs right here. You can go find us on Twitter, Instagram, coffee and KOs one, give us a five-star rating on all social media platforms and all podcasting platforms. Give us a five-star rating comment, all that great stuff. I change this up every single time and we will see you next time. Woo!